The virus neutralization assay can be used to determine whether a person has specific antibodies against a disease-causing agent such as the coronavirus or one of its new variants. Before explaining this assay, make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay updated. Every once in a while, during the last month, a new variant of the coronavirus was described, such as Delta or Omicron. Some of those were characterized by multiple mutations in the spike protein, and by that, those variants had viral surface modifications. Now we want to know whether the antibodies that we got from the vaccination are sufficient to protect against those new variants. In this example, the patient received his vaccination month ago. As a result of that, the body produced antibodies against the original form of the virus. Those antibodies could neutralize the virus in case of an infection. But what would happen now if the patient is exposed to one of the new variants? Can the patient's antibodies also neutralize this new variant? This can be evaluated with the serum virus neutralization assay. For that we need the patient's blood sample. The component of interest is the plasma. More specifically, the serum, which has the clotting factors removed from the plasma. The serum sample of the patient contains all his antibodies. In the first step, a serial dilution of the serum is prepared, which thus contains different concentrations of the antibody. With that, we can later conclude which concentrations are sufficient to neutralize the virus. The dilutions of serum are added onto the plate. In the second step, the virus can be added, and all is left for incubation for an hour or more. Following that, it is time to add the cells. But what exactly happens inside the wells of that plate? During the time when the virus is incubated in serum, the antibodies might have a strong affinity for the surface proteins and bind to those. This process is called neutralization. In case of a new variant, that has critical mutations with modifications of the surface proteins, the antibodies might not be specific enough to neutralize the virus such as shown here. Now, when the cells are added, the neutralized virus can not infect the cell culture. In our example, the new variant, however, which was not neutralized by antibodies, can infect the cells. Those cytopathic effects can be detected by microscopy. This example shows that mutations within the surface protein of the virus may drastically reduce or even prevent an antibody response. Since the immune system is not purely based on antibodies, other parts of it such as T-cells may also contribute to an immune response against the virus. There are many different virus neutralization assays. One for instance is working with luciferase as a reporter. Pseudovirus-like particles carry the genetic code for luciferase. In case of neutralization, nothing happens. But if the antibodies do not neutralize the particle, an infection occurs and the cells express luciferase, which is detected as a luminescent signal. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe and check out this video here.